What's up guys, Mark here with Kayak Fishing with Mark. I'm here to uh, do a uh, clean and uh, cook uh, type of episode. Uh, what we'll be cooking today is a my, is my version of the Prowl Lad Prick uh, recipe. It's a thigh with a chili sauce uh, recipe. I'll be cleaning the fish first. Uh, the crappy, white crappy that I caught, my personal best, caught from uh, yesterday. We'll clean it up and we'll cook it. Uh, so uh, without further ado, Let's get the ball rolling. Thanks for joining me today. So for our ingredients today, we have these items. I know it uh, looks quite a lot, but just uh, a few to use here. So we have half a cup of fresh cilantro. We got this uh, Sinigang Sasampalok mix, a tamarind soup base mix that we'll use to just give some uh, flavor spicy, soury flavor for our sauce. Um, you have a couple cloves of garlic. You have, maybe we'll use uh, half a cup of onion. Half teaspoon of pepper, which is whatever your preference you, whatever your preference is. If you want it spicy, more, you know, a little bit more pepper. If you don't want it spicy, just half a teaspoon should suffice. And we have lemon, we'll also be using maybe two spoonful of brown sugar here, or white sugar, whatever you have, uh, maybe a half a teaspoon or a teaspoon of uh, silver swan soy sauce, or whatever soy sauce you have, uh, fish sauce, maybe a spoonful of that salt and pepper, and a cup of uh, canola oil, or whatever oil you prefer. So this is our ingredients for today. We'll be cleaning this up first. What I'll do first is uh, get a plastic bag. If you have you know, a plastic bag, a ziplock zip lock like this, a transparent, or any trash bag, that's fine. I'll put it inside. This, this has scale, so we gotta remove the scale first, and the uh, the uh, in, uh, the gut. We'll be removing that. So, so once the fish is inside, we'll put some we'll put some water. And I'm talking about that much of water, and then this is when we'll start, you know, cleaning and removing the scales. I got this from the Asian market. Um, you can also use a spoon if you have one uh, right now. Uh, you can clean it uh, using that by positioning the first the fish like facing you, and then removing the scales like this. So I think we're done. As you can see, there's a lot of scales underneath. That's what we're you know, trying to do. If we don't have a plastic bag or water there, all the scales will be around your sink. We don't want that to happen. It's going to be much troublesome to clean. Okay, we'll move, take the fish out. And then we'll pour the water here so it doesn't clog your sink, just make sure that you have this in there. So the next part is to put the, the fish on your uh, cutting board, wooden cutting board or plastic cutting board, it doesn't matter, as long as it's a cutting board, and then we'll start removing the the guts out of the fish. I have a scissor here and uh, I'll use my knife for for that purpose. I'm gonna start cutting from this section first. This is my way of doing it so if you guys have a different method please feel free to comment it. 
this is how I will clean my fish. Easier for me to do it this way. difficult it can be to be cleaning a fish so back when we were in Houston we got stores there that would actually or fish markets that would actually clean the fish for you you don't have to do this but since this is uh, just gotta use what we have right now this is this freshly caught fish this is what we're doing we don't have that luxury here in, in Tennessee out. Make sure it's not this in there. And the gills. We're also removing the gills. So this is our uh, fish. To ensure that we'll have a crispy and well cooked fish I'll slice I'll have a, a vertical slice um, body of, of the fish maybe uh, one or two two slices um, you know you don't have to penetrate it through the bone just uh, the outer skin and, you know, to the meat would be fine um, that will help and get the salt and pepper flavor to the fish for more flavorful uh, experience or taste. So I'll be doing that shortly. Don't forget to mention about the cornstarch. You will need uh, just a maybe a, a spoonful of uh, cornstarch to add to the fish so that when we fry it, basically that's what we'll be doing to the fish is we'll fry the fish and it'll come out crispier. It's totally optional if you want to use cornstarch or whatever um, you know, ingredient you want to use to add that crispiness to the fish, it's fine to use as well. So now we'll put some pepper. Make sure we'll, we have it evenly distributed. and then the salt that's the vertical cut that I was talking to you guys about earlier so we want to make sure that the fish has that evenly distributed salt and the pepper so while the fish is chilling in there, we'll go ahead and uh, heat up the, the pan, frying pan. We'll put the the oil, maybe a cup of uh, canola oil or whatever oil you have that you can use. Uh, we'll put it in there once the uh, the pan is uh, heated up. Not too much uh, heat is important as well. We don't want to burn the pan and or the fish so maybe just initially when you're trying to heat it up you can put it in high and then once it's uh, hot you can reduce the heat and adjust the heat as necessary so one thing to uh, use or one method to use to determine if the pan is hot and the oil is hot is to use a chopstick if you have a chopstick nearby use it and then use one and then dip it to the oil if it starts to sizzle if the oil starts to sizzle that's when you um, 
can you know, start planning to put your fish into the hot oil. So I think we should be fine. On the pan. In the pan. Just be careful to not get burned by the oil. It's, it is going to be hot. So while the fish is frying over there, we'll go ahead and uh, start with our sauce. Uh, put a little bit of oil there, uh, a, a spoonful of oil is fine. And then we'll start frying our uh, garlic and then onion. This is our garlic and onion. Doesn't matter how you cut it at the moment because we will be uh, putting them in a blender later. So you have here maybe a, a half a cup of onion, or a cup of onion is fine, and then some garlic. And we'll go ahead and just start frying that, putting that in the pan. So put the garlic in. Make sure you have clean hands, guys. Make sure you wash your hands frequently. Put the onions. Yeah. Constantly keep an eye on the fish, make sure you don't burn the fish. And then stir it. So while our fish is uh, continuing to cook, we'll put uh, water, maybe uh, just uh, three-fourths cup of water to our sauce, let it cook there. Let it boil a little bit. And then we will add the tamarind, tamarind mix, if you have it, I mean, this is completely, uh, you know, optional for you guys, but if you want it, I think it's, it's going to be good. If you have uh, some sort of a, a tamarind uh, soup base mix, or whatever it is, uh, we just need a, uh, a teaspoon full of it. Okay, this just adds to the flavor of our, of our dish, of our sauce. So I think that's enough. Maybe a, a, a spoonful of the fish sauce. I like guesstimating. You can always uh, um, just add more uh, later on, but a, a, a spoonful is fine of the, uh, of the fish sauce. And then next is your soy sauce. Maybe a spoonful of that as well. Right. We'll also throw in a little bit of uh, the red pepper. I mean, if you want some, if you want it spicy, just a little bit is fine. Maybe half a teaspoon, well, maybe less is okay. To give it a little bit of a, a kick. All that is uh, cooking. We'll also put in some Lemon. Lemon. Squeeze lemon here. My wife's gonna be upset at me. I've been making a mess <laughs> at the stove. So about a, a spoonful or less is fine of lemon. So we're adding a spoonful of sugar, like my little scooper there, ice cream scooper. Always like it sweet, 
just a little bit. So we'll have a sweet and sour sort of a texture, a taste of that fish. So if you like your sauce a little thick, what I suggest is uh, just uh, get a half a spoonful of um, cornstarch, mix it with a little bit of water and uh, cold water that is, and then once it's boiling, then you can you can start putting that in. Uh, it will make your sauce a little thick. If you like it thick, you know that's completely optional. I, I prefer thick sauce for it. So I think we're getting close to being done with our sauce here. Make sure to taste it. You know, if it if it's good for you, you know, you can always add salt or pepper or sugar, or whatever you know your preference is, and uh, you know that should be it. Always do a taste test. Is what I would you know recommend. So guys, I think we're good with the fish if it's uh, crispy enough. Uh, for us, it's uh, golden brown. Let's go ahead and uh, remove it and then put it in the oil strainer here to uh, get those uh, oil off of the fish. And we'll let it sit there for a moment. So while we're waiting for the sauce to cool down so we can put it in the blender, Made a hit, went ahead and just uh, uh, cut some rice for us. It's a basmati rice. You know, us Asians, we love to have rice in every meal. Breakfast, lunch, or dinner. I know for some, it'll, it is weird for some. But for us, we love rice. So what a way to uh, complement the uh, pralat brick. Thigh with chili sauce. Fish, fr fried fish with thai chili sauce with a... Uh, nice warm rice. So we got it in. Let's start it. Let's start to cook the rice. So we put our sauce in the container here. I'm using a Nutri Bullet blender. You can use whatever blender you have. This is pretty much what I am using at the moment. And we will start blending. Also, make sure that the uh, sauce has cooled down before you put it in plastic and start blending, okay? Almost ready. I put it on a serving plate with uh, topped it uh, topped it with uh, some fresh uh, cilantro leaves. If you have a spare or leftover uh, lemon, I recommend you to just uh, squeeze them onto the fish if you want. I mean, totally optional, but I think it just adds to the, to the flavor. And with our sauce that's, uh, that was mixed into the blender, we'll just pour it on top. Fish is ready. So I think we could put a little bit more of the soy sauce there yeah, to make it uh, a little bit darker in color, but that should suffice. It's all, you know, preference. It's all your preference if you want that. Um, but, you know, there you have it. My version of the pra rod prick. Alright guys, ultimate taste test. Let's see how it stacks up with the other sweet and sour or probably not prick dish out there. Just 
pretty good. Should I use the serving spoon? It's it's me and my family, so that we'll be eating this. So. Awesome. Hope you all enjoy the video. Thanks for uh, watching. Christmas Eve tomorrow. So I hope you all have a, a very Merry Christmas. I appreciate all the support. If you haven't done so uh, yet, please hit that like button and uh, click on subscribe so that you will have all the latest updates on my YouTube channel, Kayak Fishing with Mark. This is my first time to do a uh, catch, clean, and cook. So I hope you love the episode. Let me know if you all have any comments. Remember, keep those lines wet. Thanks, everyone. Face down, I find it harder, let the stones roll.